Amanda Roses, and today I am finally watching the full trailer for Ragnarok with all the spoilers in it. I am so excited to see this. If you're new and wondering why I'm watching this like a month after the trailer actually came out, basically what happened is that when it first came out, I was still playing God of War 2018 for the first time, and I really wanted to watch it, but I heard that there are a ton of spoilers for the game in that trailer, <laughs> and I really did not want to ruin it for myself because it's one of the best games I have ever played. The story is so phenomenal, and it would have been like really tragic to mess it up for myself just so I could watch a trailer for the next game a little too early, so... I did watch it still, but what I did is I had somebody take out all the spoilers for it, so they took the trailer, cut out any section that had a spoiler for what I was playing at the moment, and that's what I watched. Ended up removing a lot of the trailer because, like I said, there are a ton of spoilers, so I've seen it, but only like small portions of it. Basically, I just got a view of what the characters look like. I know that Atreus is a teenager now, which is very strange after just playing like baby Atreus. <laughs> I've seen Kratos, he's back in this. I know that they're in some new worlds. I've seen a view of the combat a little bit and some of the new, new um, monsters that they're gonna encounter. And of course, our favorite weapons, um, the axe and the blades of chaos. So that's about all I've seen. Oh, and the new character at the end, uh, who I did not who, know who she was at the time. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more to see in this and I'm really excited to get a better view of what's gonna be in the next game. So anyways, let's watch. I miss Kratos already. <laughs> Just finished the game and I miss him. Oh, and there's freaking Loki! Also, I just noticed the antlers. That's totally like a nod to, um, Loki, which is pretty cool. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't want to fight anyone. Freya could turn into a bird. What the heck? Answer. Also, really sad to see that she's still fighting with Kratos. <laughs> Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Maybe you're still well, ahead, as you know. <laughs> I recognize that dour expression that's anywhere. Wow, the lake is frozen sleep. now. I didn't really think about that before, but what I guess that's cool. Winter. <laughs> you mean Tyr? We you don't have more in these lands. Who is dead? Yeah, well, I thought he was dead, dead a long man, time ago. Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Oh my god, He's that makes there. so much more sense we now. gotta find him. Come in! What? Oh, oh and now I know that Sindri and Brock are back together again. We're trying to so stop cute. Ragnarok. So cute, makes me so happy. To help people. What, is that guy? what if the only way to do that is war? Oh, so chaos. Love those. <laughs> war is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. Oh. That line, like after watching the documentaries. Like a calm and <laughs> Are you a calm? Oh my god, it's Thor again! Wait, is he the one talking? That does not sound like the Thor we've heard. <laughs> oh, it's so dramatic. I'm so excited. <laughs> Damn. In moments of crisis. Oh wait, is that a centaur? I totally didn't notice that Very last time. Nothing. That's awesome. Harness it. Let it serve you. I love this line here. The mechanic is so good. I'm gonna like keep that line for life. Tear! <gasps> what the fuck? He is alive? Are you coming with us? And they find him? What? And he's a giant? What the hell? <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> you are that is... We'll get your answer soon enough. Oh, and now I kind of know who she well, is, and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> oh my god, that was so exciting. I'm so excited to like, play this now. That was like so much in there that I was not expecting to see. First off, 
Tears freaking alive? What the hell? I thought he was just like long gone, but he's alive and they find him. That's so cool. That is a huge spoiler, first off, to, to show in a trailer. Um, normally I don't like seeing like really big spoilers in a trailer because I'd rather find out when I play it for the first time, but now that it's in there, that is super exciting. I cannot wait to meet Thor. We've heard so much about him from this last game, and he was like such an important character for somebody who like wasn't even actually in it. Like he really directed the like morality for Atreus, and like, you know, he's like Atreus's uh, role model, basically like showing what kind of god Atreus can be if he wants to be different. So I am so excited to meet him in the game and see if he lives up to that. A little nervous about that, but uh, like, you know, that <laughs> a lot of characters aren't always who they seem, so I hope the stories are true for Tyr, but also the fact that he's a giant, what the heck? Like, he's gotta be a giant, right? He's really tall. But Kratos is already super tall, and he was like towering above him, so if he is a uh, giant, or at least part giant, that would be so awesome because we just found out that Atreus is also a part giant, but everybody was gone as far as we saw. So this would be amazing if you got the chance to actually meet another giant and like find out about his past and his history and like maybe a little more about the mom because we never really found out like what happened to her or all that many details about her. So that would be really awesome. Uh, okay, also. Atreus being Loki, I did not know that when I watched the trailer last time, and that is so cool. I'm so excited to explore that more, and sounds like they're definitely gonna go into that here, of course. I love the little nod to, like, a, um, Loki's, like, symbol at the beginning. I totally didn't, like, make that connection before, but when he's, like, it's even part of the thumbnail of the, the <laughs> trailer, but when he's, like, walking into the cave and you see, like, the antlers coming off his head, it totally looks like the symbol of Loki, like how he wears that like helmet with the antlers, at least in Marvel. <laughs> Don't know how much that goes into actual Norse mythology, but anyways, that is really cool. Um, I love that they like talk about him as Loki. I'm so excited for that. Having watched like Untangling God of War now, he, it's so cool how much of a role having Loki in it like plays and how much symbolism there is there. So I can't wait to go more in depth into that now that we actually know who he is. <laughs> Freya, I'm really sad that she is still fighting with Kratos. Not entirely surprised about that because, you know, he did kill her son, which he didn't have a choice there, but I understand that as a mother, like, she's pretty broken up with that. She's just not gonna get over it right away. But wow, it'd be really cool if she can turn into a bird. I didn't know that. That's a really awesome power. Um, and she was fighting Kratos. Didn't they say in the um, previous game that she can't fight anybody or something like that in Midgard? So that's interesting that she can fight Kratos now. I'm really curious to find out like what happened there, what's the backstory. Um, I feel like there's a little bit left that I haven't found out about um, Freya in the previous game because I'm still playing some side missions and things, so still learning about her character, but that's a pretty interesting development. Um, I'm super curious to see how she plays out in the next game because it's Ragnarok, which means there's gonna be as far as I know, I don't know the mythology super well, but <laughs> I think there's going to be a war between the, the gods, the Aesir, and the other side, which will have Kratos and Atreus on it. So right now, Freya is just, she's like, she just, well, she, she doesn't like the Aesir, she hates the gods, but she also doesn't like Kratos now, so is she going to pick a side, or is she just going to be kind of like running around trying to kill Kratos? It'd be really interesting to see if she kind of like let's go of that just to join the battle and pick a side because I really don't think she's gonna go with the Aesir but maybe she's so mad at Kratos for killing her son that she's gonna go back to the Aesir so that's gonna be super interesting I'm so sad to see her fighting with Kratos I really hope she gets over it because I love her character and I loved having her with Kratos and Atreus <laughs> so that'll be interesting to see how it develops we also saw Thor again, which is crazy. I'm so excited to go in and meet him. I feel like it's going to be a crazy boss fight to start, because obviously Thor is really mad at Kratos and Atreus. They kind of killed his entire family. Um, so I'm super curious to see like how that interaction is going to play out in the beginning. I'm sure it's going to be a boss fight, but if that was him talking in over that scene, like. It, it kind of confuses things a little bit because he's asking if he's a reasonable person. I don't think you ask if you're a reasonable person if you're just there to kill them. So does that mean he's also there for something else? Like maybe he's trying to get to Atreus, Loki, and either like, I don't know, kill him, stop him on behalf of Odin, or recruit him for something. I'm not quite sure. 
Um, but I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen, if it's just going to be straight into a battle or if there's something else going on there. Um, he, I, I also kind of wonder if that might have been somebody else talking because, well, from the very small glimpse we thought of Thor, he definitely looks like how they've described him as just like a big fat idiot. <laughs> But that voice doesn't really match that persona. It sounds like somebody who's a lot more like commanding and potentially intelligent. So I'm curious if that's him talking. Maybe it's Odin. I don't know. But anyways, I'm super excited for that. And also, um, Ekaboda, I'm totally forgetting her name now. I totally should have looked this up before watching this trailer, but the girl at the end, when last time I watched this trailer, I did see her because she's not a part of the previous game really at all, but I had no idea who she was and now it makes so much more sense knowing who Atreus is that she is his wife or partner or something and I'm so excited to see them together. I totally ship the two of them. I think her character looks so awesome. I'm so excited to have her a part of the story. Can't wait to know more about her. Oh my gosh, everything just looks so good and I'm so excited for this game. I cannot wait to play with you guys. Like, now that I'm done the previous game too, it means I just have to wait with nothing to play except for side missions and a couple of Valkyries, but I'm just gonna have to wait with the rest of you. I honestly don't know how you've waited like three years to play this game. That is so long. I can barely wait like four months, but Anyways, they have a good reason for it coming out a little later than we initially expected, so I'm okay if it takes them as long as they need to just make this an amazing game because my hopes are so high and I know they're going to need it, but I want them to take their time and make it amazing. But if you guys want to see me play that game, because I will definitely play it with you guys, make sure that you hit subscribe so you can follow my journey. I'm also going to be doing a little bit more God of War content in the meantime. I want to make some more fan art because I've got the one painting up there, but I have a lot more ideas that I want to get to when I have the time. I'll also be playing some more side missions from the previous game, Fighting the Valkyries. I have a couple other reactions to documentaries coming out, and I'm thinking of playing one of the previous games. So if you want to be around for all of that and join me on this amazing adventure then make sure you hit like uh, like and subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much for joining me i've had such an amazing time playing this game with you and you know watching all the content so <laughs> i love you guys so much i hope to see you guys very soon and have a fantastic day